Hey Capricorn, this is your January 28th to the 23rd of February. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is going to be a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If it resonates and you would like more clarity or if it doesn't resonate, you can check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you would like to like, share, subscribe, or follow, I'll leave that up to you. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm starting off with your Romance Angel. So you have Attraction and Retreat. Okay, and you have Children. So some of you guys are very attracted to someone right now. You could be thinking about having children with them. Others could be needing to go on a retreat somewhere beautiful. Uh, you have children with this person and it's time for you guys to go on a retreat together. It's time for you guys to take some time for one another. Okay, so let's see. How does your partner feel about you? Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I found this on the web for his... Oops, sorry about that. I don't even know how that happened. Okay, so your partner, you could be married to this person. If not, your partner sees marriage with you. They feel like you're a good person to have a family with. You're a good person to build stability with. Um, you might have a business and they see that you're very good with that. They, they want something traditional with you, something stable. You know, they want to build an empire with you. Maybe you guys work together or you're going to start a business together. Okay, I have the nine of, oh wow. Okay, the nine of cup. This is looking really good so far. So they see you as a wish granted. They see you as someone who's generous and very satisfied with who they are, who you are. They see you as someone who's following your dreams. They see you as someone who gives them pleasure. You guys have a lot of fun together and and they just see you as someone very very like uh st stable emotionally and financially. Someone that they can grow with financially and emotionally. So the next three cards that I have, so the Hermit, the Hangman, and the Three of Swords in Reverse. You could be dealing with a Virgo. So someone's coming out of heartbreak. It could be you or it could be your partner. Some of you possibly could be having some fertility problems right now, or you're just feeling a little bit uncomfortable. You're feeling... You're feeling like... I feel like you're, you're, you're coming out of a heartbreak, and you're kind of like wondering... You're, you're wondering or you're focusing on where to go next because the hermit is here so it feels like you're still you're still a little bit heartbroken you know you're going into um something happened that wasn't the greatest but you're coming out of it you know you're going within finding yourself maybe you've had some epiphanies happen maybe um i just feel like you're healing you know maybe there's been a delay with something that's been a little bit heartbreaking for you or just a little bit like uncomfortable but you're coming out of that i see you have you're having some enlightenment on where which direction to go into the empress is here so if any of you are having fertility problems i see uh from the 28th to the 3rd of february it's a good time to keep to try if you stop trying maybe it's a good time to start trying again because i do see the hermit so maybe you took a break from trying I see you're very abundant right now. You're very, you're attracting a lot of things. You're very creative. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. 
you're feeling lots of love and protection right now. You're just living like a very luxurious life emotionally, financially. Some of you may be pregnant or maybe about or ready to give birth. The Page of Wands is here, so you could be dealing with a younger man. They may have news about something that they want to share with you. This could be you uh, starting a new start by yourself. I'm going to clarify the Page of Wands. So what is this Page of Wands for Capricorn? What is this Page of Wands? Okay. So we have the Knight of Air. So you're having a new start, but the start is taking, the start is very fast. It might have been unexpected, um, and you need to kind of take your time to review everything that's happening with this start. Make sure you're, you know, planning properly. Um, being creative, use your resources, you know. If it's a new opportunity that came in really fast and you have to make a decision, make sure that you are researching and you know making a decision that's right for you but I see you're very intelligent right now and all these things that are happening you're coming out as someone who still has a lot of energy throughout them so we have the knight of wands some of you may be at a distance from your loved one or this may just be the offer that you've received and it could be an offer regarding work um, you could be in a relationship with someone who is of a different culture, back, cultural background than you. This person has a bit of an in and out energy, so they might be one minute it's great and they're in your life and then the next minute they're kind of just like gone again, but then they come back in when you forget them or you've kind of like sort of doing your own thing, you know, or just maybe when you think of them but they're not like stable in your life at this time it doesn't it doesn't I don't see that I do see stability happening though so or maybe you guys were stable in the past and now they're a little bit in and out but I don't feel like it's something that's bothering you I feel like you're emotionally stable on your own so the devil came out so this is you so that's good I just see this as you. I just see this as you, your energy coming out in the reading. For some of you, this could be having an attached an attachment to someone with a very in and out energy, like the Knight of Wands. Uh, it could be a fire sign. It could be that you may be addicted to them sexually, and that's why you kind of let them walk in and out. Maybe you're fine with that and you're okay with that you know you, it looks like you're emotionally stable and that's all you want from this person but just make sure that if it becomes something more you're clear with them and you talk to them about that just so that you don't end up getting hurt we have the knight of swords could be dealing with a taurus or a gemini i feel like this is you taking action towards something you're very ambitious right now you're trying to build something regarding i feel like this is regarding your career life you know, you have the confidence and you're very self-assured on where you're going. And I see this person notices that. So let's see, what does your person want you to know? What does your person want you to know? The Ace of Swords. So they might have gotten clarity about something regarding you. They may, I feel like they see you as a victory. They see you as something that they're very focused on. And if they haven't been in the past, they want to start focusing on you more. Okay, what is your person's true intentions? What is your person's true intentions? Oh, the Queen of Wands. Okay, so you could be dealing with the Pisces or an Aries. I see a lot of the signs are coming out. 
I feel like your person is, your person's intentions may purely be sexual. It may just be like more of a passionate thing that they want with you. They see you as someone who's very confident and beautiful and honest and hardworking, but they're very attracted to, they're very attracted and like, it's more of like a physical thing right now. I don't see it as, I feel like you guys are stable emotionally on your own, but I don't really see it as you guys are stable emotionally together. Or maybe this is, if you guys are in a relationship already, then I feel like this is them seeing you as their queen. This is them seeing you as someone who they're very attracted to. Even if you've been together for a long time, even if you had children, maybe you're pregnant and you're not feeling so attractive, but this is them kind of saying like, you're still just as beautiful as you were when we first started dating. Like that's what I'm getting when I see this. For those of you who are ready with someone, those of you who are married, We have the Six of Cups. So some of you could have somebody coming in from the past or somebody, some of you may be getting an apology from someone. Okay, let's see what's coming in for you from the 28th to the 23rd. I'll end with that. What is coming in? Let's get two cards. What's coming in for Capricorn for the 28th to the 23rd of February? Or sorry, the 28th of January to the 20th or to the 3rd of February. What's coming in for Capricorn? Okay. Let me just pull one more. Okay. So we have the High Priestess and we have the Seven of Swords. Sorry, the Six of Swords. And the High Priestess. Some of you could have a Libra or um, a Cancer coming in. I feel like what's coming in is you guys are going to be moving somewhere. Maybe you guys are going to be traveling. Moving, if you guys are dealing with something that's a little bit of a struggle right now or a little bit kind of too many things, you know, like I was saying before, too many things happening. I feel like you're going to be moving to a calmer time where you're more balanced and everything. You know, you've gotten the hang of this new job or anything new that you've started and you're going to be feeling a lot calmer with it. Um, I see there's progress here. Um, good movement, but progress and more balance coming into your life. Some of you may be going on a vacation with your loved ones, with your family. I feel like you guys are very intuitive right now. Some of you could be readers. Some of you may be uh, psychics, astrologers. If not, I feel like you guys are just being, like you guys are getting really in tune with your um, intuition right now. So if there's any decisions you need to make, I would follow your heart. I feel like you already know what the answers are. I see this as, you may just want to be a little bit discreet right now. You know, take things a little bit slower and just kind of like not have people in your business um you may be spending a lot of time with your mother or spending some time with your mother but this is mainly what i'm seeing is follow your heart because you already know the answers the answers lie within you okay so that's all i have for you guys for the 28th to the to the 3rd of february so if you guys resonate, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And I will see you guys in a couple of days. Take care.